Good day everyone, welcome to Plants, Projects and More. I'm AJ Gonzalez and in today's video I'm going to be covering part two of fixing our fencing, seeing as how our cows keep getting out. So in today's video I'll be going through and uh, um, basically removing all the clips from the barbed wire that's attached to the fence posts and getting all that slack down, removing the staples from the H post and that way I can attach the fence puller and then just uh, re retighten the barbed wire and make it nice and taut and then reattach it back to the H post with uh, new staples or the U staples if they're still uh, usable. Now that the slack is off, I can come back and uh, pick up any last minute debris, any small little saplings or anything that's going to be binding up on the fence or just clearing it out a little bit more, making it a little bit more presentable, or getting a little bit more real estate. And, you know, there's nothing that's going to snag up and I'll be able to have a pretty good clearing once I retighten all the strands of the fence. Basically what I'm doing now is the second strand um, the second strand uh, busted, right? So here what I did, let me drop these, is I actually looped it, made a loop here and made a loop on the other end, um, which is down there. So I'll cut off a pretty decent size piece of the new barbed wire and then I'll splice it in and I'll just loop it. And even though it's not gonna be taut right now, once I use this, the stretcher, and it'll make it nice and taut and, and it won't snap again so it'll reinforce itself i just stretched this the top one out and it, there's no clips to it there's no clips whatsoever to it but it's nice and taut and this is basically what you want that way when i come back i can just put the clip and i'll just uh, attach it i'll probably attach it right there to the bottom one um and uh it'll just hold it in place and then it'll be nice nice and taut and our freaking cows will stop escaping. <laughs> now that the fence is down, I could also go in, clean it up really well. And then as you can see over here, in some of these, like this one, I might need to uh, replace it because I probably hit it with the chainsaw right here. So I'll cut it, I'll splice it, and I'll do the same thing with this one that, I, that I'm going to do with the, the second one. So in the end, it'll look good. It'll make it tight and nice and clean. Plus clearing all this up gave me a little bit more real estate and uh, all this shade is gonna be very, very beneficial for our cattle and for our horses. Shade's gonna be very, very beneficial for them. Alrighty, let me get back to it and I'll uh, finish stretching these out. All right. So what I'm doing now is I used a piece of barbed wire, made a couple of loops and I'm using that as an anchor point for the stretcher, that way I can get a nice good bind and be able to really stretch everything out, seeing as how there's no fencing on the left hand side where I can attach it to and stretch it together. So the fence post is, uh, or the H post is actually too thick so I can't use the fence puller's uh, gripper or the little like uh, L bracket in order to get a good um, angle on it. So that's where the loop comes in. So that's that's what you see me doing and struggling with back and forth and moving it down and it's a, it's a hassle but it works very very well it's very effective and uh, uh, it's able to maintain that tension and long enough for me to be able to add those staples back to the H post. All right, everyone. So I stretched out all five. Uh, the barbed wire from the right side to this fence post. Uh, I wasn't able to utilize these lines because there's not enough slack and um, there's nothing to bind on. You need something sturdy. That's why I used this barbed wire here. Just made a loop. It clips on. It works just great. This is traditionally used so you can bind on one end and the other and then just bring it in together and you can um, fix the broken line. But unfortunately there's uh, nowhere that I can put tension to it. So I had to use this. If anybody knows a better way of doing this, please let me know. I've used rope in the past. It has snapped. I've used straps in the past. It has snapped. So um, this works. It works really well. I only, you know, use a, a little portion of it and I just cut off the this nasty knot that it's hard to undo after a while. And it works just great. This entire 60 foot stretch will be all new wire and uh, there won't be a chance for it to snap again. 
that way we can keep our cattle in um, with our cattle now being able to stay in I might uh, we might be picking up a couple other heads of cattle however priorities right our priority is our raised bar, uh, garden bed which had to be placed on hold because I had to fix this fence um, but I'll be soon uh, getting on that I'll leave a card up in the uh, left hand corner if you haven't checked out that video of our part one of our raised uh, garden bed build and then uh, additionally uh, we did plant a our tower garden which is uh, slowly coming online um, that'll put us through spring and it's uh, working quite well uh, so I'll also put a card up in uh, the left hand corner if you haven't seen that video very short video but uh, very effective looking good so far um, it's just uh, it's tedious work but it's necessary so it's working it's working out uh, all right it's not too hot uh, it's not too humid which is great and uh, the work isn't too hard it's just you know being on your knees and stretching it finding something that's snagging on going unsnag it clean it up come back so it's just a back and forth but it works out really well and once it's uh, all said and done and it's all stretched out it'll make a very permanent effective barrier for our cows anyways I am uh, oversharing I think so I'm gonna get back to work now grabbing the new roll of uh, barbed wire I take it to the opposite end and uh, make a couple loops loop them together and then just uh, uncoil it back to the H post the top line right now is the number one line so I create a loop on that one I cut off the barbed wire and then utilize the stretcher stretch it all out and uh, splice it in and make it nice and taut and then just come back and restaple the barbed wire back to the H post and that's basically repeat you know rinse and repeat so that's that's what I'm doing for all five strands on this side so a couple of strands were actually pretty good still I think the bottom one and the, they were a pretty decent size so I had to I ended up using very little um, new barbed wire in order to splice them back in which uh, was good because you know it's always good to have a little bit of barbed wire uh, to make repairs so I didn't want to go back out and buy a new roll this turned out better than expected um, it uh, all the barbed wire ended up really really taut and with minimal force I mean I honestly I it only would need a couple clips for it to stay in place but it turned out really really well a lot of the line that was there was in really good shape and uh, only needed that minimal new line to splice in so very happy with the outcome okay so i am finishing up putting all these clips in there's a right way of doing it the wrong way this is the way i do it you got the clips i like this little loop coming down that way I can use my fence pliers and just grab on and then just twist inward now normally you don't have to do that much but with the cows being the skate artist I don't want to chance it so I'm getting a good wrap and I'm going every fourth one so one two three four right underneath it one two three four right underneath it so forth and so forth um, so just finishing up putting all these clips and then I'll be ready to let the cows in it's been a good day very productive day so thank you for sticking around to the end don't forget to subscribe don't forget to hit that like button one two three four there's the last one yeah and uh, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you know when the next video will be uploaded so thanks again for watching and we'll see you 
on the next one.